Hello and welcome to the JV and them Sports Fanatic channel, guys. Thank you guys so much here. Hope that your week is off to a good start here. And so just a little bit of update here. As it's Deshaun Watson news continues to get more and more bizarre by the moment, guys. And so now we've got Tony Busby's filing a lawsuit claim against the Houston Texans organization, alleging that they enabled Deshaun Watson's behavior. And so um, a little bit more about that is that they said the Houston Texans have been adding to the defendant in the silver lawsuit filed by plaintiff's attorney, Tony Busby. Um, and he had previously announced that he intended to sue the Houston Texans, alleging that they enabled former quarterback Deshaun Watson's behavior, a pattern of alleged sexual misconduct by obtaining a Houstonian, I'm sorry, Houston, Houstonian um, hotel and spa membership and giving him a non-disclosure agreement. And um, here's a statement that was released. He said that today we filed the first case of what we will likely what will likely be many against the Houston Texans related to Deshaun Watson's behavior. Busby said in a statement, suffice it to say the overwhelming evidence. Now, in terms of what evidence exactly, I definitely would like to see the evidence myself. But he says the overwhelming evidence I'm collected indicating that the Houston Texans enabled Watson's behavior is incredibly, he said, incredibly damning. He says, we believe the Texans knew or most certainly should have known of Watson's conduct. Beyond that, we believe the fi the fouling speaks for itself. Pretty bold statement right there. Now, when I hear words like that, um, you know, like in terms of just purely from the NFL standpoint, you know, like irregardless of how this lawsuit plays out there, but in terms of from the NFL, um, and I, I'd imagine the NFL, you know, if this holds up, that they would definitely, you know, be looking to penalize the Houston Texans. And so you think about what are some other scenarios that the NFL's had to deal with in terms of just a situation where they should have known if they did not know. And, you know, you think about the whole Patriots with the deflate gate and then the aspect of, you know, like the key party members involved, whether we're talking Brady, Belichick, um, the NFL is like, you should have known and stuff like that. So they dished out a punishment there. Now for the Houston Texans, I'd imagine that, you know, potential punishment again just spitballing here would be along the lines of perhaps last draft picks or something like that you know maybe um a find issued out there a lot of different combinations they could take for this route here but i do i do want to see the evidence because the evidence is what's going to determine what exactly we're talking about here but definitely not good news here for the houston texans that you want to keep your name as far away from this as possible if you're the houston texans here but um they are going to be dragged into this so we'll see how it plays out guys again this is you know just um you know there's going to be plenty of more news that's going to continue to come out. Of course, we are waiting to see what the NFL is going to dish out in regards to Deshaun Watson's punishment. But, yeah, so um, Tony, but Tony Busby, he has been um, extremely busy here. So we will see what else he's got in store for us, guys. But um, thank you guys so much for joining here. And so, yeah, looking forward to seeing your take here on should the Houston Texans be penalized here? Because, I mean, you look at the contract there with the Cleveland Browns, you know, how they set up Deshaun Watson's contract. You have to think that they were anticipating some kind of suspension this year, probably not for the full season, but more so for this year. Because if it is a full season, that's going to push that $1 million into next year that they have right there, which would basically means in two years that Watson, you know, potentially get about a million there. But there's so many scenarios here, guys. But you guys tell me how guilty or how much responsibility do you guys hold the Houston Texans to in this situation, guys? Let me know in the comment section. Be sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already, guys. And with that being said, thanks again for watching. See you guys next time.